There's a wonderful individual in Ohio. He's the state treasurer. He's running for the Republican nomination for the Senate. His name is Josh Mandel. How are you, sir? Outstanding. How are you, Mark? Very well, my friend. And uh, I understand you're an Iraq war vet, too. Is that correct? Uh, I am. I am, yeah. Marine Corps veteran. Uh, did a couple tours in Iraq. Mm -hmm. So you're state treasurer of Ohio. When did that happen? Uh, elected uh, state treasurer uh, in uh, 2010 and uh, ran on a platform of uh, being uh, fiscal conservative and uh, had the support of uh, Tea Party leaders throughout the state of Ohio. Was proud to speak at the uh, Tea Party rally we had in uh, the Belly of the Beast in uh, Youngstown. We had about 500 people there. We had about 1,000 people at our Tea Party in Canton. In a little park in Dayton, Ohio, we had 5,000 people show up at our Tea Party. And, uh, you know, those grassroots conservatives were the folks who uh, were out there uh, knocking on doors and making phone calls for me and helped uh, elect me. And uh, we knocked out uh, off-the-reservation liberals the first time since 1958 that an uh, incumbent treasurer had beaten here in the state of Ohio. You're what I consider one of these, these young conservative Turks, you know, Marco Rubio, Mike Lee, Rand Paul. Uh, and there are others. We have crews running in Texas, um, uh, and there are others out there. Um, do you consider yourself the same way? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a lot of respect for uh, all the gentlemen you just uh, mentioned. You know, I'll be uh, 35 uh, years old on Election Day, and uh, I, uh, I am young, uh, and uh, I'm also a conservative and uh, I'm proud to uh, step up at this time in our nation's history because I think our country is uh, right now headed uh, 100 miles per hour at a brick wall. And if we uh, turn the steering wheel just a little, we're going to hit that brick wall. We need to take a sharp turn of the steering wheel and uh, take this country in a starkly different direction. And the uh, gentlemen you just mentioned are the type of leaders, I think, that can take this uh, country in a different direction and uh, save it for current generations and future generations. By the way... For my audience, Adam Hasner in Florida, I've, I've endorsed him. Do you support cut, cap, and balance? That is, in the end, a balanced budget amendment like Reagan did and many of the conservatives do today. Uh, I do. I was uh, one of the uh, one of the first uh, uh, outside of uh, those who were actually in the Senate and the House to uh, sign on to the uh, cut, cap, and balance plan, and uh, I uh, feel very strongly uh, about that. Um, I. Uh, I also have a very strong feeling about the uh, balanced budget amendment within the cut, cap, and balance. Uh, here in Ohio, uh, by uh, June 30th of every odd year, we have to uh, pass a balanced budget. Um, when uh, husbands and wives are sitting at their kitchen table, uh, they're figuring out how they're going to pass a balanced budget in their house. And uh, when small business owners are uh, sitting in their, in their offices, um, they're uh, figuring out how they're going to balance their budget. And I think government should have to do the same thing. Uh, we, I think we need to start running the government like a business. And uh, if we can't do that, um, then uh, we need to uh, put leaders in there who can. May I ask, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but who are the other Republicans who want to be the nominee for the Senate from Ohio? Sure. There's uh, you know, three other uh, folks that we know of who've, uh, um, who pulled out petitions. Uh, one is a, a doctor um, who uh, ran, I believe, as an independent uh, last time around in the race. Uh, one is a former state legislator who's currently uh, a lobbyist. And uh, the third is a uh, cargo pilot for, I um, believe, uh, UPS. And uh, you know, I don't know, uh, I don't know them that well, um, but I can tell you that throughout the state of Ohio, the uh, conservatives are supporting us, the uh, grassroots fiscal conservatives, social conservatives, Tea Party leaders, and frankly, we've got a lot of uh, Democrats who believe in free markets. A lot of folks who go hunting on Saturdays, church on Sundays, and believe in peace through strength might have a D next to their name but are still supporting us because Sherrod Brown, uh, Mark, is so far off the reservation to the left. He was just named the most liberal senator in the country, and uh, he's to the left of uh, Bernie Sanders, who, as you know, is a self-described socialist uh, senator from... Uh, yes, Sherrod Brown is a radical leftist, and if he has his way, the country will go over the cliff faster than it already is. Now, Josh, actually, I, I know a lot about you. I've looked into your background. I've talked to a few of my friends in Ohio. Uh, including Tea Party activists. I've also talked to a few of my conservative friends in the U.S. Senate, and they and many of them are very high on you. So I would like to endorse you in the Republican primary for the Senate in Ohio, and uh, I wish you all the best, my friend. 
I'm uh, honored to uh, accept your endorsement. I greatly appreciate it, and I will be doing everything to make you proud and to make the people of Ohio proud. Now, what is your website so everybody can know? Our website is www.joshmandel.com. It's spelled J-O-S-H-M-A-N-D-E-L.com. And uh, for all of you out there uh, listening, I greatly appreciate your consideration of uh, visiting our website. And if you're uh, so inclined, would appreciate you making a donation and helping the cause. Again, it's just uh, joshmandel.com. Well, Josh, we need to send a lot more constitutional conservatives to Washington. We're in deep trouble, and I think you would be one of those who can help us. God bless you, my friend. Thank you, Mark. All right, take care. That's Josh Mandel. Josh Mandel, he's currently the state treasurer of Ohio. He's a rock-solid conservative.